Amazing mornings. For today, we're going to have the combinatorics, and the first one is the fundamental principle of counting. Our goal is to understand the fundamental principle of counting. So, what is the fundamental principle of counting? When there are m ways to do one thing and n ways to do another, then there are m times n ways of doing both. If you have two events, one event can occur m ways and another event can occur n ways, then the number of ways that both can occur is m times n. Event 1 is equal to 4 types of meats, for example. Event 2 is equal to 3 types of bread. So how many different types of sandwiches can you make? So we have 4 times 3, which is equal to 12 weights. In this case, we can have 12 different types of sandwiches. Another way of, sol of solving is to use the three diagram. So can you remember how to draw this? So you have a photo that you want to mat and frame. You can choose from a blue, purple, red, or green mat. And a metal or wood frame. Describe all of the ways you could frame this photo with one mat and one frame. And then draw a tree diagram to show all of these possible options. The question is, how many different ways can you frame the photo with one mat or one frame? So in here, you have a photo. So you have four choices for the um, frame, the color of the frame. And then you have two choices if that is a metal or wood frame to be used. So with the options a uh, four, no, mat times two, okay, which is the metal and the wood. Four times two is equal to eight. Therefore, we have eight different ways that we can frame the photo with one mat and one frame. So we can uh, have the fundamental principle of counting by listing down by diagram, no, uh, using three diagram. The other example is in here, for a college interview, Robert has to choose what to wear from the following. So, he has four slacks, three shirts, two shoes, and five ties. How many possible outfits does he have to choose from? So, we have four options for slacks, three options for shirts, two choices for shoes, five choices for times so we're just going to multiply four times three times two times five four times three is 12 times two is 24 and then 24 times five is equivalent to 120 therefore we have 120 possible outfits that he can choose from okay so we have another example Given seven flags of different colors, how many different signals can be generated? If a signal requires the use of two flags, one below the other. So, we have to choose two flags. So, that's the problem. Yun ang tanong sa atin. So, how many ways that we can select the first flag? Okay, so ilan ba ang flag? So we have seven. So that's the number of ways of selecting the first flag. Then after selecting the first flag, we cannot choose the same color flag again. So the number of ways of selecting the second flag, so nakuha na natin yung isang kulay. So, babawasan natin yung pito ng isa. So, ibig sabihin sa susunod na flag, Anim na choices lamang o anim na kulay lamang ng flags ang pwede nating piliin. Since, no, we have to choose two flags, we have to multiply 7 times 7 and 6. So, that will be 7 times 6, which is 42. So, the number of ways of selecting two flags is 42. Again, 
first flag we have seven traces second flag we have six traces and then we just need to multiply seven times six which is 42 okay let's have the next one a person wants to buy one fountain pen one ball pen and one pencil for a stationery shop if there are 10 fountain pen varieties 12 ball pen varieties and 5 pencil varieties in how many ways can he select these uh, articles now so in here a person need to buy a fountain pen one ball pen and one pencil that is we have to do all the works now now how many ways can we select the fountain pen? So, how many choices do we have? How many varieties do we have? Ilan ba ang ating pagpipilian? So, we have 10. Another one. Number of ways selecting ball pen. So, how many varieties? Ilan ba ang pagpipilian nating uri ng ball pen? So, we have 12. Then, number of ways selecting pencil. So, ilan ba yung uh, uri ng pencil na meron tayo? So, we have 5. So, how are we going to get the number of ways? We're just going to multiply. No? So, total number of selecting all this is just 10 times 12 times 5. No? So, in here we have 10 times 12 is 120. 120 times 5 is equal to 600. So, we have 600 ways to select this and that is your final answer so let's have the next example 12 students compete in a race in how many ways first three prizes be given so labing dalawang estudyante no magka compete sila sa isang karera race no so in how many ways no, can we have the three prizes? So, ano ba yung three prizes? So, we have the champion, the first runner, I have the second runner up, or the first place, second place, third place. Now, how many uh, students do we have? So, the total number of students, ilang ba silang lahat? So, we have 12. No, all of the students will have equal chance to get first prize. No. So, ilan yung pagpipilian natin sa first prize? Ilang contestants? Ilang students? So, we have 12. Out of 12 students, only 11 students are eligible to get the second prize. Why? Bakit? Bakit labing isa na lamang pagkatapos nating mapili ang first prize? Because one student got the first prize already. So, therefore, the number of ways to get the second prize or the second placer will be 11. Okay? So, out of 12 students, only 10 students are eligible to get the second prize. Bakit naging 10? No? Because for the two students, already got the first and the second prize respectively. So, 12 minus 2, we have 10 students. So, for us to get the third price or the third placer no sampo na lamang yung pagpipilian natin no 10 students na lang so the number of ways to get the third price is equal to 10 so how are we going to get the number of ways no so we're just going to multiply 12 times 11 times 10 so which is 12 times 11 is what no? and then multiply it with 10 no? so 132 times 10 is 1320 weights so your final answer will be 1320 ways ok let's have the other one from among the 36 teachers in a college one principal one vice principal and the teacher in charge are to be appointed in how many ways can this be done na? or this can be done so the total numbers of teachers so let's have the first one uh, for the number of principal we have 36 teachers okay 
no? So, nakuha na natin yung isa. So, ibig sabihin, 36 minus 1 is 35. Kaya, yung pagpipilian natin sa vice principal will only have 35. We only have 35. So, nakuha na natin si principal at si vice principal. Kaya, 36 minus 2 is equal to 34. So, sa teacher in charge, pagpipilian na lang natin ay 34 teachers. So, how are we going to get the number, uh, the total number of ways? So, that will be 36 times 35 times 34 is equal to 42,840 ways. So, ang final answer mo, ang final answer natin ay dapat 42,840 ways. Okay, so there are six multiple choice questions in an examination. How many sequences of answers are possible? If the first three questions have four choices each, and the next three have two each. Okay, so we have the answer for all six questions. Na? So, um, to answer the first question, we have four ways. To answer the second question, we have four ways. To answer the third question, we have four ways. Ibig sabihin, um, we have four choices. Na? To answer the fourth question, we have two ways. To answer the fifth question, we have two ways as well. To answer the sixth question, we have two ways. No, so, we have four, 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 two, two, two. So, how are we going to get the, no the total number of ways to answer the six questions? So, that will be four times four times four times two times two times 2. So, lahat ng number of ways, i-multiply lang natin. So, we can get 512. Therefore, the total number way of ways to answer 6 questions, so we have 512 ways. Na? So, yun ang final answer natin. Okay, let's have the next example. How many na five-digit number no? that we can make if the first digit cannot be zero and the repetition of digits is um, not allowed. No? So, the numbers can be filled and the places are We have 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Because in 10, we have 1 and 0 digits. So, yun na yun, diba? And then, um, may restriction. Pag sinabi yung restriction, merong hindi pwede. Ano yung hindi pwede? The number of the first place must not be zero. So, ano lang yung pwede natin ilagay sa una? No? Sa una. No, first place. So, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Now, since, no, repetition is not allowed. Ano ibig sabihin po ng repetition is not allowed? Limbawa, nagamit mo na ang 1. No? Sa susunod, hindi mo na siya pwedeng gamitin ulit. Yan. Oh. Ano pa? Halimbawa, um, nagamit mo na ang 2. Uh, Hindi mo na ulit siya pwedeng gamitin. Ha? So, dahil sa mga restrictions, so, dalawa restrictions natin. Una, hindi pwedeng gamitin ang 0 sa una. No? Kaya, 9 lang. Ano? Pangalawa, hindi natin pwedeng gamitin, uh, hindi natin pwedeng um, ulitin, no? Ang numbers, no? Repetition is not allowed. Okay. Now, 
So, meaning to say, sa una nating place, meron tayong ilang options. So, we have nine options. Hindi kasama ang zero. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Now, sa sunod po na number, ilan po ang pwede nating pagpilian? No? So, dahil ito ay second place na, pwede na natin isama ang zero. Ngayon, nagamit na natin yung isa. Di ba? We have ten, no? We have ten options. Nagamit na natin yung isa. So, nine options sa pangalawa. Sa third place, no? Sa tatlong numero, hindi na natin pwede magamit ang dalawa. Bakit po? Kasi yun yung pang first no? Tsaka yung second digit. No? So, meaning to say, 10 minus 2, we have, so, we have 8. No? Sunod, sa pang-apat, dahil nagamit na natin yung tatlo, sa first, second, third digit, no? Sa third, sa first, second, third place, no? O places, no? Unang numero, pangalawang numero, pangatlong numero. So, magiging 10 minus 3, 7 na lang. So, doon sa last digit natin, 6 na lang. So, anong gagawin natin? Multiply lang. 9 times 9 times 8 okay, times 7 times 6. So, yun ang ating magiging um, equation. So, we just need to multiply. And the answer must be 27,216. So, meaning to say, we have 27,216 ways. No. So, thank you. And we're going to uh, have the other one, which is the factorial notation.